What's going on everybody? It's Josh from Colossus Fitness. I'm going to waste none of your time and I'm going to tell you what I would do as a natural to build muscle fast. So we all know that person in our gym, maybe this is you, they go consistently. They're always there, they're always training, but they never seem to change. They look the same year after year. We see someone else come in, they blow up. What is the difference between the two people? The answer is these common mistakes which we're gonna break down in this video. It's about the depth of what you're doing and how to do it more optimally. It's not just about working harder, it's about working smarter. So let's break down exactly what I would do if I was starting over as a natural lifter to get there. And I've been through it. I started really skinny. I was a skater kid. I was like 150 pounds and I ended up bulking up to 240, putting on a ton of size and strength. And thankfully I started doing things right. I've continued to do this and I now have over 4,000 transformations as an online fitness coach, helping people just like you break through these plateaus. And today I'm gonna to give you the exact secrets of what I would do. Here's tip number one. So first and foremost, if you're honestly looking to build muscle, building muscle comes down to actually fatiguing your muscle, creating breakdowns so your muscle can grow back stronger. You are not gonna do this going into the gym and working in that comfort zone doing the same weights you've always done, the same movements, and avoiding things that are actually hard. That added train and stain or remain the same comes true. At the same time, you're not gonna gain optimum muscle by just getting in there, training like a savage, killing yourself, because you're gonna get injured and there's gonna be a lot of blowback from that. So the easiest rule to understand how hard you should be training is most generally, we can get in the weeds with this, but a good general rule of thumb is an eight out of 10 intensity. If at the end of your set, you can say that was about an eight out of 10, you know you're at a good spot. And you may say, well, how can I know this? Another system you can use is the RAR system. Most of your movements should be between an RAR three and an RAR zero. What RIR means, it sounds like a mouthful, is reps in reserve. That's how many you have left in the tank. And I'm not just talking about like, ah, oh, that feels tired, I think I have no more. Go to failure one set, figure out what actually where you would be. And I like the attitude of envisioning someone with a gun to your head. If someone was saying, do all these reps, your life depends on it, see where you could kind of get to. And you might surprise yourself that weight you may have been doing for three by eight, you may actually be able to do for 20 reps. As a personal trainer, I saw this all the time. And that's where getting in there, training with someone more intense, someone who's been doing it for a while, they'll push you and they'll help you learn what it feels like to be in that realm of discomfort. Because those last few reps, when you're getting close to failure, that's where you're gonna build most of your muscle. That's where you're gonna have compositional change. That's where your biceps are gonna pop, the shoulders are gonna come out, and that's how you're gonna actually create yourself to build more strength so you can handle more load further and continue this process of building lasting muscle. So don't get too worried about this RIR system just yet. This is something I teach in my coaching. But a great way to start is just by focusing on, is this set a solid eight out of 10 intensity? And don't be scared to go a little heavy. If it's a 10 out of 10, you say, ooh, I might need to back down, drop the weight for the next one. But the first reason you're not putting on muscle, the honest truth, you are not just training hard enough. Push yourself, push what you find normal, push what you are comfortable with, go to that realm of discomfort, because that's what's gonna push you forward. And you're gonna learn to adapt that. If you just get in there and you do these little frou-frou workouts, you're not gonna get very far and you're not gonna feel fulfillment. When you're actually pushing yourself in the gym, you get more from it, you get more results, and you're gonna get more addicted. The last thing I'll say in terms of my first tip is don't avoid hard movements. Heavy compounds, movements where you're working multiple muscle groups at once, think bench press, squats, deadlifts, heavy lunges, all these incredible movements are gonna help you stack on muscle quick. If it's hard, it's hard for a reason. If you go in the gym and you just do a bicep curl machine, adductor, abductor, and you leave, you're not gonna get very much from it. Don't be afraid to lean into what's hard. If you're serious about putting muscle, you gotta get in front of this and just take this Band-Aid off. But the next biggest step and the fastest way to put on muscle, now that we got our training intact, is actually being in a surplus with our nutrition and having optimal nutrition. So first out of the gate, you are not gonna gain muscle if you are not in a surplus. Well, you could gain a tiny bit, but you'll gain very marginal amounts of muscle. I'm not saying you need to go on a dirty ball, get insane and do some crazy things like me here in this 15,000 calorie challenge. I actually did too much of a dirty ball and it came at an expense of my happiness. And even for you, you have to ask yourself what you want. If you wanna put on the most amount of muscle, you can get a higher end of a surplus of a bulk. That's totally okay. But if you're someone who wants to look lean, but have a little bit of muscle, have some definition, there's nothing wrong with being in a slight surplus, think three to 500 calories of a surplus, putting on a reasonable intentional amount of muscle and fat each week, about half a pound to a pound. But keep in mind, the more intense you get with this, the more fat you'll put on, the more fat you'll have to take off later. But if you wanted to gain the most optimal amount of muscle, you would really lean into being in a surplus, 
getting a lot of great healthy carbs in because this will help you actually build new muscle and fuel your body to stack that on your body. But past that, a big part of this is protein. Protein is very anabolic. It has numerous, numerous benefits. It's gonna help you stack on muscle, supplies amino acids, building blocks of protein, all that good stuff. So if you're wondering where to be at with protein, especially if you wanna put on muscle, I recommend a good general rule of thumb. Once again, you can get in the weeds with all this stuff, but don't get too obsessive about things. Just get started. Start making the moves to the right direction. Then you can fine tune from there. A good rule of thumb is one gram per body weight. This is gonna put you in a great situation to build optimal muscle, to actually build yourself up, to stack in the right direction. And you can totally do this whatever budget you're on, really just make sure you're hitting that protein, hit your calories, weigh in consistently, make sure you're on track to gaining a healthy amount of weight, take progress pictures, measurements, all that great stuff. But now that you have training and nutrition in, I'm gonna give you one more secret tip, help you put on even more muscle. But before I do that, I gotta do my YouTube begging, coming at you with a cup. If you could smash like if I'm helping you, it means a lot. That's all I really ask, honestly, because I'm just here to provide value. I really struggled to put on muscle at the start, and it's been amazing to see that transform and to build the physique I have today, and I'm just happy to share that advice. So if I am helping you, if you could smash like, subscribe, all those typical things, it really does mean a lot. But into my third tip, and that is be accountable and see it through. Maybe you're fired up. Maybe you saw this video. You're about to pack your gym bag. You're going to drive to the gym. You're going to crush it. You're going to call up your buddy. That's great. Use that. Motivation is amazing. But remember, motivation isn't forever. Discipline is forever. And to build discipline, you need to be consistent. You need to show up on the days you feel great. You need to show up on the days you don't feel great. And that's how you're going to build into actually making this part of your lifestyle. And this shouldn't be seen as a short-term fix. This needs to be something you fit into your life. And it's something that you can do progressively. Don't feel like you need to do all this immediately, but start taking the first steps. If you've been eating 30 grams of protein, you should be eating 160. So just start working your way up. Get to 60, get to 80. Build out to it. If you haven't ever gone to the gym, just get in there and do your first workout. Do a couple of basic things. If you've been going, you've been logging, you've been pushing yourself, start pushing yourself. But it's really important you take these steps and then you be consistent with them. And the best way to be consistent with them is to have accountability, having someone on your side to see it through. A great way to start, a great free resource, find a like-minded individual, a training partner. Preferably, it's an advantage if you can get someone who's ahead of you because they're gonna build you up too. But find someone who's in the same mindset who wants to grow and progress just like you do. And that is just gonna lead to your results. And that's gonna put you in a great situation to make sure you are improving and having a lot of success. Pass that off for one-on-one -on -one online fitness coaching. I have over 4,000 transformations. My transformations are fully guaranteed, meaning if you sign up with me, I guarantee your results or your money back because I know what I do works. I get in here and I optimize every component of your journey for your specific situation, your expertise level to ensure you get results, not only in the here and now, but for long term so you can see consistent lasting results. And you can learn about that totally free, no obligation. Check out my website. It's going to let you in more on how I can take care of all this hard work for you, give you exactly what you need laid out to see success. But trust me, the beauty is in the basics. I laid out exactly what you need to do. Ignore all the minutia of everything in between. Those things can matter too. But focus on the macro here, then get into the micro, but really dial down these fundamentals in this video. And I promise you, you will start sacking on some phenomenal, amazing muscle as a natural in a really healthy and sustainable way because that's what I'm all about. But I really wanna thank you for spending some time and learning with me today. Appreciate you as always. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. Comment made it and I'll know you did and I'll know you're a real one. Uh, but definitely check out my coaching, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Uh, but we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.